In this video, I'd like to talk about the number of solutions to an equation. Now, most equations, most one variable linear equations, will just have one solution. So if you have an equation like x plus 3 equals 9, then you can solve this by subtracting 3 on each side, and you get one answer where x is 6. So this is the typical version of an equation, where you just get one answer. However, there are two other options. You can either have one answer, you can have a case where there are no solutions, or you can have a case where there are infinitely many solutions. So let me write this down. You have three options. So like I said, you can either have one solution, zero solutions, or infinite solutions. Remember, the symbol for infinity is essentially just a sideways eight. So to solve a problem like this, what we first have to do is basically just simplify each side of the equation and see if we could solve for our variable. And I should mention, this is these three options are for one variable linear equations. So there's only one letter in it. You're not going to see x and y. You'll just see one or the other. And they're linear, which means we don't have x squared or x to the fifth or maybe like e to the x or 2 to the x. You don't have anything crazy like this. x is just by itself to the first power. And in general, you'll learn this later, as the fundamental theorem of algebra, if you have x squared, then you have two solutions. If you have x to the fifth, you can have five solutions. These exponential functions are a little bit harder to deal with. So with that in mind, let's start this first problem by essentially just trying to simplify it. So I'm going to rewrite it, and let me just make a little more room. So we have minus 17 y minus 2 equals minus 17y plus 64. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I have parentheses here, and generally when you see parentheses, the first step is to distribute. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to distribute this minus 17 into both of these terms. And when I do that, I get minus 17y, since they're multiplied, and minus 17 times negative 2 would be positive 34. And this equals minus 17y plus 64. Now, we want to solve for our variable. And first, notice that it's the same exact variable term on both sides. And once you get used to these types of questions, that's going to tell you something. In fact, from this step, I already know the answer. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try and solve for y. And it doesn't matter which side you try and move them to. Let's say we try and move them over here. But you could move them to the other side. So I need to cancel out this minus 17y, and I'll do that by adding 17y to each side. But notice the problem here. These are going to cancel out because minus 17 plus 17 is 0. So I get that 34 is equal to this side, but minus 17 plus 17 is 0. So that goes away too, and you just get 64. Now, obviously, 34 does not equal 64. This is nonsense. And anytime you get nonsense, you can assume that there just isn't a solution to this. No matter what number I put in for y, this equation will never be equal to itself. So this happens a lot when you get the same variable term on both sides of the equation. And when you try and move it to the other side, they end up canceling on both sides, and you just get some number equals another number. And unless these two things are the same number, then you're not going to have any solutions. Now, in the situation where, let's say this was 34 rather than 64, and you ended up with something like 34 equals 34, now this is the, the situation where you have infinite solutions. Because now, no matter what value you put in for y, you will always get something true. So you're going to see these three options come up. Either you actually get a value, like something like y equals 2, that'd be like the first one, or you get something that's nonsense, like 34 equals 64, which obviously they aren't equal. So that's option number two. That's zero solutions. And whenever you get something that's always true, some number equal to itself, that's going to be infinite solutions. So these are the three basic situations that you'll end up with, and you have to determine which choice it is. 
So in this case, there were no solutions. So choice number A, or letter A.